Welcome back. I mean, obviously this is a fun weekend. It feels like the vibe is maybe a little bit different from last year. I mean, you were a new acquisition last year. The standard has been raised that you guys have won a division title, won a playoff series. Just what's the vibe like coming off of that season now this weekend? Yeah, no, I think the, and I got that same vibe that you did. I think our vibe is going to be carry on the momentum from 2023, you know, like feel the excitement that we felt, but what can we do to make sure that we extend it a little longer to win more games and hopefully winning the whole thing? A year ago when I came for the first time, you know, I, I had a lot going on, a lot of new faces, but last year I got the vibe that 2022 didn't go the way and it was about preventing that from happening. So I think 2023, we exceeded those expectations and I think we did a little bit more and then we loved it. We loved the feeling, but I mean, it stung when you know we got that taken away from us. So we want to replicate those feelings, just make sure that we can extend it by a couple of weeks and that would mean winning the whole thing. So I think we're an extremely motivated group. Uh, I think everyone knows that we want to replicate all those things that we did good and then find some others that maybe we weren't as good at making them better. You talk about meeting a lot of new faces last year. You also met an entirely new fan base. So now that you've been through one, one year of Twins Fest, what are you looking forward to this weekend? Oh, man, I'm looking forward to all the interactions. Uh, last year, Twins Fest was a week after getting traded. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I was the new guy. I was the new kid in school. Uh, some people were, you know, not aware of who I was. I don't blame them. I was in the National League East that never had anything to do with the AL Central. So I'm, no, I'm looking forward to all those interactions. And, I mean, I loved it the Twins community, the Twins fan base, like such a genuine group of people that they care about the team, you know, like they're so loyal. They have the civic pride that they care about the team. They let us know when they're in the stands. So, no, I just, I, I always feel the love. They receive me with open, open arms. So I decided to open my heart to them and it's going to stay that way because they come to show us love and I want to make sure that I, like, I show them all that same support when I'm trying to represent them to the best that I can. Right. This is also that reminder that you know spring training is not far away. You're going to Fort Myers in a couple of weeks. Just what's that? What's that going to be like now with year two with this team? No, I just now that I start getting that itch. You know, uh, the the Twins Fest festivities means that February is around the corner, and that means spring training is almost here. And that's when I'm like, I can't wait to get going. So I've prepared myself this um, all of this off season, you know, to make sure that once spring training comes, I'm you know I'm ready to go. I'm ready to. Um, you know, do the, uh, you know, the routine things that we do in spring training, working out as a whole team, max effort throw-ins to making sure that the, the volume, the build-up is right where it should be at. Uh, and I just, I can't wait to get going. Once spring training starts, that means that we're going to have baseball for almost nine months. And I mean, I love the sound of that. <laughs> How does your role kind of evolve this year? I mean, you've been already, been already been named the opening day starter. You're the ace of the staff. And now we've lost Sonny and Kent to the free agency. They you know, did what's best for them uh, you know, next team-wise. We really don't know after you what it's going to look like. We know we have Joe Ryan coming back. You have Chris Paddock. You have a couple other options in the rotation. Obviously, that's out of your control. But just kind of what leadership role do you take knowing that there's a little bit of uncertainty behind you in the rotation? Yeah, yeah, no, like you said, we um, we weren't able to uh, keep with, you know, retain Sonny and Kent. Uh, happy for them that they were able to keep living their dream and playing the game that they love. But I think the biggest thing is going to be, and I'm going to try to do everything in my power to making sure that as a staff, we know our identity, that we have the identity that we're a team that we don't shy away from, you know, complex situations. Like, I'm going to throw my best pitch right now. doesn't matter what the outcome might be. I'm just I'm confident, confident that I can do it. I'm going to take my chances. I mean, the odds are always in the pitcher favor. So why, why, won't, why wouldn't we play those odds? So I'm going to do everything in my power in spring training to make sure that if guys may need help with their routines, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be the guy that, hey, if you need anything, let me know. I'll be there for you. As I'm saying, as I'm saying those things, I'm also going to be the guy that is, is willing to receive like, that knowledge. I'm, I'm going to try to absorb as, as much knowledge as I can because leadership comes from all kinds of places. You know, It's about the things you do and how you do those things. And even though we all do things differently, we're all after, we're, we're all after the same goal, you know, getting people out, being the big, like winning games, helping team win games. And there's, diff there's different ways to do that. So yeah, I can't wait to show up to spring training and, you know, play catch with each other, watch each other throw bullpens and seeing them getting better because the more we, they get better, the more I get better. And then it's just, it's a very contagious feeling. I'll, uh, I'll wrap up with this. You've, you've lived winning a division title. You've lived winning a playoff series. You've seen what that does to invigorate this fan base. Uh, you've seen what the standard is now coming into this season. Where does this team go from there? Um, 
the sky's the limit. Uh, we want to give our fan base even more. Uh, they were, you know, so happy, so electric, and we were, I mean, it caught us by surprise because we're like, defense, defense really won this, defense needed this, and we're, you know, we're going to give it to them, so I think coming into 2024, I think everyone's excited, not just us as players, but like, you know, the coaches, the front office, the fans, everyone involved is really excited, so I think it's a great time to be a Twins fan, and I know the, I know the fans are going to show up for us, and that's what we're going to do for them.